What is up guys, it is Ripper and here with a new video for you guys today. Alright guys, so before we hop into it, I just want to say something real quick. If you guys enjoy today's video or enjoy any content on this channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification, and hit the like button for me. I would appreciate it. But on that note, let's hop straight into today's topic because it's kind of important and I haven't seen anyone talk about it yet. Alright guys, so let's do it. Alright guys, so as you guys know, we as a COD community have this new game out there that got released called Cold War. And we all knew going into it, we all were kind of aware this was a not finished game yet, a rushed game, a, you know, we need a COD release kind of game only, in a sense only, so we're just gonna give you a game, right? It's not gonna be perfect, but here's a game. But with that issue, comes the question in place of should there be a new cod should there be a new cod being made should they just work on the current call of duty should they work on just warzone right so there's a lot of these little questions in the air that i have heard other people like kind of say but they haven't really answered so what i'm gonna do in today's video is i'm gonna answer that from my opinion you know, how do I see it? What are my thoughts on it? Do I agree with it? Do I disagree? And I'm gonna just try to get as detailed as possible in the shortest way possible for you guys so you guys can understand in a short, sweet version my thoughts on this and what I hope to see from the from the creators of Call of Duty. You know what I mean? So let's start off with the question, should they make a new Call of Duty? And I'm gonna be straight up honest when I say this and I, I do mean this. Currently, Ready? No. Now, before anyone gets mad at me for that answer, let me explain why. I have four reasons, and don't worry, I made sure to come prepared. I literally have a legit notepad of everything, so I can go over this with you guys, all right? So let's just start off with the first issue, and this is, this is a big reason why. They recently, if you play Modern Warfare, or played Modern Warfare, even hop into Warzone kind of situation, the gun balancing is just fucked, right? The gun balancing is pretty bad already. And I think that there's still some work that could be done there to make it better. I think that they could make the gun balancing overall quality so much more amazing. If they just put the time into it, I think they'll have a pristine, pristine way to get that. And guys, let's be honest, we haven't had a perfect COD, right? I mean, like, Mono Warfare reminds me of, like, MW2 bad level gun balancing where if you guys haven't played mw2 let's be honest um the best way to put it is essentially every single gun was broken in that game <laughs> like there was no there there was no real balance put in also the snipers were literally so like they were so strong so fast and again that's what the community at the time liked right so that, that that's where they started it but they're trying to like essentially revolutionize it and change it into a future generation which isn't the right decision and especially with the snipers because this is a sniper's perspective um i really want to heavy hit the snipers if there's like ar people i guarantee there's channels for it but i'm gonna heavy hit snipers with gut balancing they went from very good snipers back from old CODs to shitty quality snipers nowadays that I'm arguably gonna say is just terrible. Cold War snipers are, I mean, honestly terrible. I mean, I've said in the video, you know, previously, I think it was saying like the ADS is terrible, the, the damage could really be buffed up, you know, and I think that if we don't get that, let's be honest, the snipers aren't going to get any better. No one's going to like them anymore. No one's going to like them in any way, little more, you know. And so until they touch that, there's no point, in my opinion. Let, let's fix that and then let's move on, right? So there, there's the first. Second one on the list is a thing called the Pro League or CDL League, as you guys know it. And let's be honest, the CDL League literally just started, literally. Uh, it just started now. And the pro players, you know, they have a lot of requests as well. I've been watching their perspectives, their opinions of it, and even they're saying that they want some more stuff put into it. They want a little more touch-ups and patches. And until that's done, so what, you know, it puts in a question, what's the point of making a new COD if we don't even have a full version yet of what the game is, right? So 
we need to keep this in cons into consideration before we even think about trying to make a GNU COD and then having to develop the CDL League with the NAT COD. Like there's just so much that goes into that. And I think long term wise, we really do need to look at these little details that I'm talking about in this video before we ever consider making a new COD. And I understand the power hungriness and I'm going to get into that the overall review at the end, but we really need to look into the loop. And fourth, I'm gonna talk about them both at the same time because it's just short and sweet. The third one, multiplayer is just completely ignored. And nobody can disagree with that. The multiplayer is literally just shit on by the developers. The No one even really plays multiplayer anymore. The multiplayer really just gets a bad rep because nobody even codes it as much. When, I mean, when they made the game, literally they just kind of said ignore multiplayer. And they, they didn't hype up multiplayer. They hype up Warzone. Right, and that leads us to the fourth situation of due to them not working on multiplayer and then basically saying fuck you to the multiplayer people, they are leaving it into a place of Warzone is their main focus. And with Warzone being their main focus, you know, what's the point? Why not just continue to work on Warzone, add new things, make it interesting, make it fun. Don't keep it the same, right? Because right now, let's be honest, we have the same Verdansk that's just the same. Nothing's changed. What, they added this train station? Wow, big deal. But like, we need something new, right? So with season two coming out soon, I think in what, it's 18th when I'm recording this and on the 20, February 25th is when it comes out. So if you guys don't know that, there you go. With that coming out, you know, I have high hopes, but until I see it, I can't really say too much. Cause it's like, what do I know? You know, what do I know what they're gonna do, right? So I think with Warzone being their main focus, let's be strategic here. Why not? Why not save some money and let's work on the current COD that we have and let's make it better and even more playable. Let's let's get an anti-cheat in there. Let's work on the gun balancing. Let's get this, let's get this perfect circular. Let's just sense the sense. Either this jagged circle, let's make it a perfect circle by fixing the edges, by getting rid of these little kinks in the in the system that are causing issues. Players are ha are just completely hating on, right? Let, let's fix this, right? SBMM, let's get rid of that. Straight up, we have league play. What the fuck is the point of SBMM anymore? You know what I mean? So like, let's get rid of these things. Let's make the COD game better than where it is now. And let's just overall have a more enjoyable experience. And I think that we as players need to constantly, uh, essentially remind them of. Just constantly tell them, tweet at them, message them whatever way possible, tag them say it to them constantly till they do and obviously i'm gonna hop into the overall because this needs to be said we all know what the outcome of this is they don't care and it's crazy right i just said all these little issues that build up and make overall this every cod after really starting from advanced warfare and to here one of the worst fucking downfalls of a game i've ever seen you know of a franchise the call of duty franchise literally crashing just going downhill nobody cares for because all they care for is the money all they care for is the people to be hey we're gonna make a new cod everyone's gonna try to pre-order and then get so disappointed because they only care for the money they don't care about your opinion they don't care about the player's perspective and if they try to say they do they're fucking lying they're lying Sorry, sorry if that bothers people, but they're lying. And how I see it is, un really, let's be honest, they already said they're making a new COD. They're, they're building the new COD, so we can't avoid it. But the point of today's video that I'm, that I'm trying to get to you guys is we need to stand up a little more to this, and we really need to bring this to light. Because with everything coming out, I don't think there should ever be a new COD right now. I think we need to work on the current COD, build it better, continue to work out the kinks of it, and then we can say, yes, let's get a new game. But until that happens, I just don't think we're in the right place to make a new Call of Duty. And that's just how it, but guys, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please be sure, leave a like on the video. Like I said earlier, subscribe if you need turn on the bell notification and put down in the comments. All right, guys, I want you to put in the comments right now put your thoughts on the question i want you to answer the question do you think they should make a new call of duty currently put a yes or no and put a why all right guys 
Again, guys, I love you all. Thank you for all the love and support recently. If you guys haven't yet, go check me out on Twitch. I'll put it on the screen. Twitch.tv slash xripper. Guys, I stream currently. I'm going to four to five days right now. So be sure to go check it out. Follow the page if you guys haven't yet. And that's also another way you guys can support me. All right, guys? So I love you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Fearless. <laughs>